So here's a fun demonstration you can do. The plastic bag is the stomach. I'm going to put some cream cracker and some banana into the bag. And then there should be some acid in there, so I'm going to add some water um, to play around the acid. But also there'll be saliva that you've um, swallowed has come down from your, from your mouth. Inside the stomach, your food gets squished. So I'm going to do this now. We're going to squish and squish and squish the food. So the banana and the cream cracker starts to break down, break up and get nice and squishy inside the bag, inside the stomach. So you should be left with a nice soup inside the bag. I'm going to take the metal tray, that's going to represent the body. And I'm also going to take one leg of a pair of tights and this will be the small intestine. Cut the corner of the bag carefully and then I'm going to pour the soup out of the stomach and into the small intestine, into the, the leg of the pair of tights. So gradually pour that in. As I then lift up the intestine, all of the small chemicals and the water are going to pass through the holes in the, the wall of the tights. Um, and the large chemicals, the fiber and other things the body doesn't want are going to stay inside the tight. You can see the milky liquid, there's all the sugars and all the good stuff that the body wants um, have gone into the, the tin tray, they've gone into the body, they'll go to the liver. If I now cut the tight and get a plastic cup, that could be the large intestine, then the food gets passed into the large intestine and if I show you what it looks like, that's the the food that's left behind, that's going to be the poo that will then come out of the, the rectum.